A nice slice of pie. McRaji, how you doing? What you up to today? Yeah, we got some pie. Oh man. As you can see, we're playing some Mass Effect 2. Lonk just dropped a fucking bomb on me that they're apparently releasing the remaster tomorrow now that we're half done Mass Effect 2. Are people still here trying to fight me? I feel like this is a wasted effort by this point, but alright. I'll take it. Oh, heavy skin weave! Fucking right, yeah! Those uh, increase our, um, they do have various effects. This one uh, probably re uh, increases my max HP. But that's okay as well. Hey, Grouchy, you, you, you played Mass Effect, haven't you? I feel like this is the kind of game that you'd be, like, really, really up your alley. Hey, serving data. Yeah. McGraw, Selma, thank you for the slimes! I really like the Mass Effect series. <laughs> when I was younger, my uh, the reason I owned this series actually is uh, my uh, friend was like, "You need to play Mass Effect. It, it, it is really good. It's right up your alley. Um, it's in space, but uh, and yes, it is a bit of a shooter, but it's also um, got a lot of story to it. A lot of choices you can make. Can you fucking not?" There's different classes you can pick as well. Uh, choices for your skills. Normally you have a crew, but I'm doing a mission right now that apparently does not get one. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of different skills that you can get. Right now I'm playing uh, Sentinel, I think. Yeah, I'm a sentinel. So I get access to throw, which throws them away. Warp, which, uh, well, it's like a AoE. Uh, not an AoE, a, um, a dot. certain abilities too, like the warp spell is really good against armor and uh, biotic barriers. The um, overload is really good against shields. And all your choices matter. Uh, well, most of the choices matter. Some of them are just like in there and they probably won't carry over, but even some of the side quests I did in the first game had effects in the second game. And those choices will carry on to the third game. It's actually really, really well done. Yeah, there's the Mass Effect relay though, that's super cool. This area is so large, were they expecting me to kill everything over there? Ah oh, shit, a collector. 
Shepard. You have become an annoyance. You fight against inevitability, dust struggling against cosmic winds. This seems a victory to you, a star system sacrificed. But even now, your greatest civilizations are doomed to fall. Your leaders will beg to be harvested. Maybe you're right. Maybe we can't win this. But we'll fight you regardless. Just like we did Sovereign. Just like I'm doing now. However insignificant we might be. We will fight. We will sacrifice. And we will find a way. That's what humans do. Know this as you die in vain. Your time will come. Your species will fall. Prepare yourselves for the arrival. Okay. Commander Shepard, Normandy inbound for pickup. Roger that. Will that destroy it, though? That's the question. I assume yes. Oh, look at that. Not so indestructible after all. What you just saw was uh, a DLC mission. Guess we can't get back to that star system. Why are you in my ass? Excellent question. like you've recovered. Admiral Hack. Sounds like you went through hell down there. How are you feeling? Fine. No more visions, if that's what you mean. I wasn't expecting to see you here. You went out there as a favor to me. I decided to debrief you in person. That was before the mass relay exploded and destroyed an entire Batarian system. What the hell happened out there, Commander? Have you received any intel about what happened? All I know is I sent you out there to break Amanda Kenson out of prison. And now an entire system is destroyed. I hope you could fill in the leap of logic between those two events. Kenson said the Reapers were the galaxy's salvation. Then she captured and sedated me and held me against my will. She wasn't willing to stop the invasion. So I did what had to be done. Sounds like Amanda was indoctrinated. Well, that's a damn shame. Yes, indeed. And you believe the Reaper invasion really was a threat? No doubt about it. We literally had minutes to spare. I'm sure all the details are in your report. I won't lie to you, Shepard. The Batarians will want blood, and there's just enough evidence for a witch hunt. And we don't want war with the Batarians. Not with the Collectors out there taking our colonists. What are you saying? You did what you did for the best of reasons, but there were more than 300,000 Batarians in that system. All dead. They died to save trillions of lives. If I could have saved them, you bet your ass I would have. You're preaching to the choir, Commander. If it were up to me, I'd give you a damn medal. Unfortunately, not everyone will see it that way. So what do you suggest? Evidence against you is shoddy at best. 
But at some point, you'll have to go to Earth and face the music. I can't stop it, but I can and will make them fight for it. I didn't expect to see you aboard a Cerberus vessel. I don't like Cerberus or the way they do things. But they brought you back to life, and they're actually doing something about the state of the galaxy. So for now, I can be friendly. Is the Alliance concerned about the Batarians' response to this incident? Very. The Batarians have been looking for an excuse to wage war on us since we showed up in the galaxy. If the Reapers invade, we need the galaxy to work together. If we're at war with the Batarians, the other races will be hesitant to give aid to either side. What's the Alliance doing about the Collectors? We're setting fleets around our major colonies and evacuating our smaller ones. But the ships that encounter the Collectors haven't reported back. We're outmatched. I'm really hoping you and Cerberus have an ace up your sleeve. I stop a Reaper invasion and they want to put me up on charges? It's not a matter of preference, Shepard. You'll be a convenient scapegoat for avoiding open... Ah, uh, yes. That makes sense. Do whatever you have to do out here. But when Earth calls, you make sure you're there with your dress blues on, ready to take the hit. In the meantime, you keep this. I don't need to see a report to know you did the right thing. Yes, sir. You've done a hell of a thing, Commander. Yeah. All right, let's see, that's it. We got one level, huh? <laughs> All right. Dr. Manny Kenson was re rescued from a battalion prison on the planet Aratod, and Shepard confirmed her proof of a Reaper invasion. Shepard was captured by Kenson, who had been indoctrinated by a Reaper artifact. Shepard escaped act the, uh, and activated the project, destroying the Alpha Relay and ending the Reaper invasion. Dr. Kenson did not survive. The Bahak system and all its inhabitants were destroyed. That's a lot of people down, down though. And we skin weave. This one gives me plus 60% HP. Okay. Credits found. Element zero. Palladium. Excellent. We got lots of stuff then. That was good. Uh, that was actually a really good DLC. And it kind of explains a, a gap between Mass Effect 2 and 3. Which you'll find out when we get to Mass Effect 3. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Do you got anything else to say to me? How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Kelly, on. That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Pragia facility update. Shepard sent out Shepard. To contact you per Lucid Man's instructions, he believed that you would want to know he had ordered Subject Zero's project shut down before the riot broke out. Cerberus uh, personnel arrived to find all guards dead along with most of the subjects. Any surviving children were treated for injuries, given mild amnesiac treatments, and delivered to Alliance facilities as survivors of slave attacks. Slaver attacks. A few surviving doctors were forcibly retired for their role in the project. For your report, the, the facility on Pragia has been destroyed. Okay. Well, we did that yesterday, if you recall, at the end of the stream. Well, there you go! Where to next? We're gonna head to Tachanka next, I think. Ah, biotic damage, yes. Okay, that's gonna take a element zero. There we go, we got more biotic damage. And here's our metagel upgrade. This is our last one, I think. Yep, here's our last skin weave as well. Perfect. Let's save our game now that we're back on the ship. Man, we've got a lot done and still so much more cool stuff to see. No messages for you, Commander. Okay, we're gonna go over to Ah, <laughs> Garenus. Yeah, see, that's that's gone now. You can't even go there anymore. I should have harvested them, but I had no idea that uh, that they would have uh, not let me go there. So, all right, guys, we're going to Tichanka. Tichanka is this galaxy. A little tiny planet. Durek is a small heat blasted rock lost in a blinding glare of the star Aralok. It occasionally traps a trace atmosphere of gases blown in on Aralok's powerful solar wind, which inevitably blows the gases back out again. 
The planetoiders are a few valuable loads of heavy metals, which were sporadically mined by the Krogan at the height of their power. In closing years of the rebellions, the five clans working uh, the planetoid fell to fighting over a particularly rich deposit of iridium. All five clan warlords agreed to uh, crush, a uh, meeting at a neutral location, to negotiate a truce. Unfortunately, all five arrived planning to betray their fellows. While the leaders and their seconds met, all their bases were destroyed by simultaneously hyper simultaneous hypervelocity cannon strikes. Great. Left with only the food, water, and air in their hard suits, and with no way to call for rescue, the warlords apparently fought each other to the death. And survivors of the five Durg clans on Tachanka still argue about which clan's warlord was the last one standing. Great. Oops. Oh, there we go. One of Cannon's hemispheres contains an impact crater 700 kilometers in diameter, dubbed the Renkat, uh, Renkat Basin. It was mined for light mineral uh, metals in the interbellum between the Rachni War and the Krogan Rebellions. Any obvious resource concentrations have long been stripped. Probe. Well, had an iridium deposit. You can scan the whole planet. Like, we're not doing that on stream anymore, but uh, I'm just checking them just to see if there's any extra quests. Urban is a tidally locked Ven Venusian hothouse. Its surface perpetually obscured by clouds of sulfur and carbon dioxide. The first group of Krogans brought into orbit by the Salarian Uplift team requested a trip to the Krubin. The Salarians at first thought the Krogan were confused about the nature of the Krogan's environment. The planet is named for a Krogan mythological paradise in which honorable warriors feast on the internal organs of their enemies. In fact, Krogan astronomers had correctly deduced the nature of Krogan in the years before the Global Holocaust. In the two millennia since, Krogan has become, uh, come to be thought of as an ideal test of one's toughness. Every year, a few Krogan attempt to land on Krogan and exit their ships naked in an attempt to prove their Kroganhood. The planet's surface is littered with the crushed, corroded remains of their ships. Only one, Shath Norda, is known to have returned from the surface alive, albeit with most of his bones crushed and all four of his lungs damaged by sulfuric gas. Norda recovered from his trial to the adulation of his people, until he died in 1943. He could lie with any fertile female he wished. Oh. Well. I guess he earned that right. Probe launched. I guess? Alright, Tachanka, which we'll do after we actually have another planet to look at. This one here, it's probably a hydrogen helium gas giant. The smaller of Aralak's hydrogen helium gas giants maintain a small helium 3 recovery infrastructure. Although the depth of Rum's gravity well makes it inefficient to export, visitors to the Aralak system often top off their fuel tanks at Rum's stations. The Council Dematerialization Enforcement Commission maintains a token of garrison to monitor any potential sale of fuel to known subver uh, super subversives and terrorists. Man, my brain did not want to read that word. Probe launched. Man, it's poor. All right. Man, this 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 uh, area of the universe has a lot of iridium. I think there's one more planet over here. Yeah, this is a big one. Look at that guy. Vala is a hydrogen helium gas giant named for an ancient Krogan deity that stood watch for uh, enemies of his pantheon. The gas giant's moons are named after some of Vala's myriad eyes and ears. The only reason to visit the Vala system is scientific curiosity, which Krogan, the Krogan lack. Probe launched. I'll take a nice healthy dose of platinum. Anyway, the uh, the resources that you can get by mining those, um, which you can, like I said, you can you can mine the whole planet. There's nothing to stop you from doing so, except possibly time. Um, you can uh, use to upgrade your stuff, which is why mining it is helpful. There's also extra quests. All right, so this is Tuchanka, the home world of the Krogan. We didn't get to go here in the first game, although Rex did talk of it a few times. Scarred by bombardment craters. Radioactive rubble, choking ash, salt flats, and alkaline uh, seas, Tachanka can barely support life. Thousands of years ago, life grew in fierce abundance under the F-class star Aralak. 
a rake clan word meaning eye of wrath. Tree analogs grew in thick jungles, their roots growing out of shallow, s silty seas. I thought this is shitty seas at first. Wait, 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 what? Life fed upon life in an evolutionary crucible. The world died in nuclear firestorms after the Krogan split the atom. A little ice age of nuclear winters killed off much of the remaining plant life. In recent centuries, many Krogan have returned to their homeworld. The reduced albedo has caused global temperatures to rise. In order to maintain livable temperatures, a vast shroud was assembled at the L1 Lagrange point. It is maintained by the Council of Demilitary Station Enforcement Mission, which is based on orbiting battle stations. CDEM advisory visitors to Shashanka land at their own risk. The CDEM will not attempt to extract citizens threatened by clan warfare. Advisory. The ecology of Tachanka is deadly. Nearly every native species engages in some predatory behavior. Even the remaining vegetation is carnivorous. Travel beyond garden areas is strongly discouraged. 2.1 billion. Oh man, I like reading about planets. All right, so we're gonna bring uh, Grunt, and we're also gonna bring Morden because this is uh, we can do both requests while we're here. All right, we got three points, not enough to learn Cryo Blast level four, but Morden might have some points to put in. He does, but not enough to learn Cryo Blast level. Four. All right, you have two. Okay, so none of them can learn anything worthwhile. Good. Glad we had that discussion. Collector Rifle, super good. Let's swap over to the Matic Heavy Rifle. I'm not swapping that one. Alright, let's go to the Predator Heavy Pistol, and let's bring our grenade launcher with us. Hey guys, join McBronchie for a boss fight! Would you sleep with Peach for multiple Peaches? Ah, oh, I like that clip. Alright, Grunt! Vindicator Battle Rifle. You guess? Plasma Shotgun. This, as you can see also, McGrunty, there's a huge assortment of characters that each have their own personalities and dialogues that you can interweave with. Um, you can choose to do their loyalty missions or not, which is what I'm doing now. I, uh, I'm doing my loyalty missions for... Morden and Grunt. If you're looking for work, you're shouting down the wrong. Stop right there, alien. You're Shepard of the Normandy. I just noticed that it's just a the type of wants to speak with you. Keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. Do you know what's wrong with him? What he needs? There's nothing wrong with him. Just go speak to the clan leader. Take your business to the clan leader and keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. Just let me by. I have business to take care of. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is, you never actually got to go to Chichanka in the first game, so it's kind of cool to see us actually. Variants of scales? Erdnot clan reports use weak encryption. I see references to a captured Solarian in the logs of the Chief Scout. Good. Talk to Scout then. Or Chief. Either one acceptable. Also, I have been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local clan leader for assistance with Grunt's problem. This is the great Krogan homeworld. This is the land of Kredok, Shiagar, and Viol. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing on. Never thought I'd miss the tank. I... Hold. 
You must wait till the clan leader summons you. He is... in talks. You know what tradition demands. Clan Erdnot must respond. Your reforms will not go unopposed. <gasps> you risk appearing weak at a critical time, Shepard. Good enough. No, hang on a sec, guys. Excuse me. <clears throat> Out of my... Shepard! My friend. You look well for dead, Shepard. Should have known the void couldn't hold you. No idea who that was, but they were from some services thing. Alright. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. Huh. You made the rise of Erd not possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan. Oh, we defeated Hellhouse. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I used that to spur the clans to unify under Erdnot. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. Ah. Seek one spoken to, Uvenk. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. Take that, dude. Get headbutted. Now, Shepard. What brings you here? How's the Normandy? Destroyed in the Collector surprise attack. I ended up spaced. Well, you look good. Ah, the benefits of a redundant nervous system. Oh, yeah. Humans don't have that. Oh, it must have been painful then. But you're standing here, and you've got a strong new ship. Takes me back to the old days. Us against the unknown. Killing it with big guns. Good times. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Head them again. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fighting inside the camp. Each clan punishes its own criminals. We stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a simple choice. Pay a fine and deal with your problems, or your clan is no longer welcome. That doesn't sound very harsh by Krogan standards. Allies from other clans like what I'm doing. They help deal with skeptics. Many are eager for an outlet. Every time I've declared a clan unwelcome, my allies have destroyed them. Word gets around. Oh. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. You don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka, but you're an exception. I'm looking for a Salarian. He was captured by the Blood Pack and brought here. My scout commander can direct you. He's probably near the perimeter running target practice. Don't take too much of his time. I need a constant watch on the other clans. I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. Where are you from, Welp? Was your clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I have no clan. I was tank bred by Warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiagar. You recite warlords, but you are the offspring of a syringe. I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. Okir is a very old name. A very hated name. They don't like him, apparently. He is dead. Of course. You're with Shepard. 
How could he be alive? Does that name mean anything to you, Rex? A vicious warlord responsible for many deaths. Who apparently toyed with genetics. A clone undertaking the right. You are considering it? Tank bred allowed status as an adult? This is too far. There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Ah, puberty ritual. Common among species with hormone-driven reproductive urges. I don't <sighs> care what aliens call it. Krogan undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is not Krogan. What a bitch. Idiot. So, Grunt, do you wish to stand with Erdnot? Jemima! Hello, it's going really good. We're on Mass Effect 2 right now, as you can see. What does the rite of passage require? Not for me to say, Shepard. The shaman will discuss that. You'll let a tank bred Krogan join Clan Erdnot? Only because he's with you. After all, you and I killed thousands like him. Not quite as big, but many. Clan Erdnot is strong, and the others will do as I say. They see the benefit of my vision. I'm, I'm really enjoying getting to do it again. I've gotten to do so many cool things that I didn't do last time I played this uh, because I didn't have access to the DLC. Uh, and um, they did a good job with the DLC. Unfortunately, it was too expensive uh, before. There are a lot of side missions, so we're, we're working on side stuff before we go back to the story anyway, so. What happens if he doesn't do this rite of passage? If he was left here, he would be killed. The clanless are not respected. A tank bred, probably more so. His disposition is what it is, right or no. That's just him being a Krogan. Okir didn't tell you that in the tank. Did he, boy? This is his choice. All right. It is in my blood. It is what I am for. Good boy. Speak with the shaman. He's over on the second level. Give him a good show and he'll set you on the path. It is. I agree. You too, Shepard. How many times have you stepped in a mess for your crew, hmm? I need to go. We'll go over this another time. Watch yourself, Shepard. Tutanka hey. isn't safe and homey like Pharaohs and Ilos. Question then, guys. Do you want us to talk to the Shaman first or the um, Scout first? Uh, it just depends. Do you want to see Morden's mission first or do you want to see Scout? Morden is this Solarian dude right here on the left and Grunt is this guy here on the right. And that's why I brought both of them, so that we could do their missions. What do you think?